Welcome to Mentality, the first ever male-only cast talk show that seeks to break the myth that you can only have mainstream talk on TV and seeks to ensure that we see the whole panorama of male behavior by discussing topics relating to men but affecting women. Does bride price have a place in modern society? Is it synonymous with purchasing the woman who thereafter becomes the man's property? Or, as some would argue, is it a money-making scheme? My name is Ian Bogua, and with me to discuss this topic are my co-hosts. On my right, Pastor S. Hello. And on my left, Edward Quatch. Before we jump into this topic, let's see what the men on the street had to say. Paying dowry, as far as I'm concerned, is just the fact that you need to appreciate the parents of a lady. And after you appreciate the parents of a lady, you also need to appreciate the fact that you got her the way she was. And she has been brought up the way she is and appreciate that. That does not mean that you can kick her up and beat her up and do all those kind of stuff you want to do it's because she's, she's not your property. A human being is a human being. You can't just buy somebody because it's not her property. This is uh, when you marry a woman, is your friend. It's something you want to be together. And you cannot buy her to be your property. No, it does not make our, our money a property. Uh, reason being, uh, dowry is just appreciation. Uh, it's appreciation. It's not like you are, you are equating an equivalent amount of money to, you're not attaching the money or whatever you're paying as dowry uh, to the woman. It's just appreciation you are telling your in-laws that this is a new family you've gotten and uh, you're going to be together. Hmm. Some men saying, point blank, I've paid dowry, the woman is my property. Indeed. And then others say, yes, bride price has to be paid, but that doesn't necessarily make the woman your property. Right. And I love what one of the gentlemen said. Uh. He said, this practice was really about relationship building. Right. It wasn't commercial from the very beginning because right. we need perspective. Right. Now, how did this begin? It is two families and communities building relationship through the negotiations, 20 cars, no, 10. Uh, I mean, it wasn't trade. It was more, let's build relationship. And always the family plus the community would be able to pay the price. Uh, so I see it as a bonding exercise, building relationship. The second thing I see which is really good is um, there was an appreciation uh, because culturally, uh, in this part of the world, in Africa, we, uh, the lady comes over to my side, comes home, uh, and we stay home. So mm. we're with my parents, we're mm. supporting them, we're living with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but that family, in a sense, has lost mm -hmm. uh, someone who was part of them. So in a sense, you were giving some appreciation, say, mm -hmm. thank you for this gesture. She's mm -hmm. come over to our home. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think those two things are, are beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful in our practice. Absolutely. So I really appreciate where it was yeah. coming from. Lovely, guys. But, you know, well, let's, 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 let's bring it to the modern era, okay? Let's pull it from that cultural perspective and bring it into the 21st century. Because, you know, like when you talk about, I mean, I read somewhere that, you know, Bright Price was a manifestation of commitment. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But you know what? Even then, when you say it was relationship building, two families getting together, that was then. Now, when you talk about bride price, nine times out of ten, okay, you will take, um, if you can't take a, the cows or the goods, what is it? It's, it's color. Is it not money? It's money. It's, it's money. money. Yes. Okay. And when you talk about the two families getting together, also nine times out of ten, and, you know, we say that it's the elders, not necessarily the family. Right. It's the elders. Mm -hmm. but those so the el elders were speaking on behalf on of the behalf family of because the it father. wasn't just about one family. No, no, no. It was about you see, I'm not talking about 1965. I'm yeah. talking about now. Mm -hmm. But you it's not nine out of ten. It's no, not that no, 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 no. You know, I've had the pleasure, Ian, of uh, being, or the displeasure, of being involved in some, of these, in, in some of these negotiations, all right? And honestly, it is a painful experience because what these people are trying to do is they're trying to fleece money from you. But it's so not what's all the end result? Them. What's the end result? You come out of there, you're annoyed, you feel a lot of pain, okay? So honestly, the end result of that is, boss, I've paid for you, you're mine. The way I could go to Nakumat, I could go to the supermarket and buy that newspaper, now, I own you. It is not all my, of them that are like I, actually, that. Actually, that's what I wanted to say. It is not. It's majority. probably your experience. Yes. Yes. I'm not Some of them, by the way. <laughs> because I think we're mad. Okay. Yes. Are, you are, you, are you going to pay bride price? Uh, you know what? Manifestation of commitment. If no, that no, brings... No, 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 no,
a boat. All right, let, let me talk to you quite. Mm. You know, I think if you think you've bought a woman mm. because you paid two cows, mm. uh, the kind of woman you are marrying mm. is too low in value. What because a woman one? cannot be five cows, cannot yeah. even be a hundred cows. Yes. And so this is not buying a woman. Mm. It's showing appreciation and starting mm. a relationship. Uh, gentlemen, after negotiations and after the wedding, I guarantee you most times, the next time you meet, if ever, is at somebody's funeral. Ah, oh, no, no, That's no, it. no, no, no. No. It's a wrap. I don't know who you hang around with. No, 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 no. I by, by have way, no idea no, who you hang me, around with. All sorts. I hang around with you. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, certainly. But, uh, but hey, no, what? my own daughter, what? I know, I will ask for yes. bride price. And, and what, what will you ask for, Ian? Let's, let's just, let's, if you when put the a time comes, her, uh, When the time comes. 30 goods. <laughs> Two meter. <laughs> No, <laughs> three million. No, we will sit and we will, and it's it's not she really going to happen. Oh, what, come what, 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 she went to no, it's not I will not do that. Hey. I will not do that. Hey. And it won't be me. Really. I used to take It'll her to KFC. The, uh, <laughs> will you let me get a word? In? <laughs> 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 we will sit with the eld elders uh, 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 and we will negotiate, uh, uh, just like it was done by my parents right. and their parents. Right. Yes. Right. And then we will continue with that relationship. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Let's assume you've paid bride price. Yes. Uh, of course, no woman is going to come to you with yes. these views. Yes. But let's assume yes. some woman comes yes. to you yes. uh, and she agrees. Yes. And you say, this is my property. Right. How do you treat her? Your property. How do you, you treat have your a car? car? You have oh, several come things. on. You How cannot you compare a woman, woman you, to a car. Do you have pets? <laughs> Oh, now that is that is really uncalled for. No, that I is should, really I, no, uncalled I, I, for. I, I, uh, you cannot I, say that. No. What do you mean? How do you treat that? her? Yeah. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? How do you treat her? That how means you mean? you're you're sick from the mentality uh, uh, that this woman yes. uh, is my property. I am thinking whether you pay bride price or not. Right. Watch, uh, right. Right. Your attitude towards a woman yes. and towards marriage yes. is wrong. Wrong. From She's coming offset. to you as a companion, Boss, as a helper, if, as an equal. If that is an equal, then I should not be paying bride price at all. You see, whether Simple. you pay or not. That commitment to whatever, the ring, the wedding, is enough. Just to support Quach a bit. Quach. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know and I understand that this has been misused. It yes. has. I've been to places where people say 200,000, we're not talking. Exactly. That is not here. Yeah. So much money. Yes. And of course, that stress, it yes. never ends well. Yes. So we're not talking about those, uh, you know, uh, greedy parents. But those are not the We're talking about the, the practice. Now, yes. this is where I'm coming to. Right. Whether you pay bride price or not, right. I believe the values of our culture, right. relationship building right. with the family. Right. You're not marrying an individual. Right. We're in Africa. And right. this is, to me, right. very good culture. Right. You're, you're getting involved in a family. Right. Uh, when there are problems, right. the family will be involved. When yeah. they have problems, I will be involved. Right. Whether I pay bride price or not. Right. I would love that relationship to be. Yes. I would love uh, there to be some appreciation from uh, both sides. Professor. I have known I couples. <laughs> I have known couples uh, uh, who went, who did the come we stay thing. Right. Maybe 20 years ago. Right. But the man still feels right. I did not do the right thing. Yes. Because his family says, yes. um, really, yes. this is not, this is not your wife, yeah. really. Yeah. And the man, 20 years later, will still go and negotiate and have a proper blessing of the wedding. Without I do agree problems, there yes. are those who are making money out right, of it. Right, right, yes. right. But that doesn't mean that it, um, it does not have a place in society. Where today. does the cynicism of today's woman come from then? Actually, I don't think she's the one who is cynical. No. I think we're the ones no. who start by mm. saying, I mm. claim you as my property yes. because mm. I paid for you. Mm. When you begin to tell a woman that, mm. you have a bigger problem. Mm. It's not about the bride price. Mm. You're just uh, hanging on to that. Mm. There's a way of saying, yes. I don't like you. I, I want to misuse you. Mm. You're an object to me. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying to that woman. I would it's really not like to come price. to your wedding and see you write your own vows and hear them. I would really like I'm to not hear sure what you would say. Us. No, seriously. I, 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 what? I, didn't, I didn't understand that bit right there. <laughs> really? People write their vows. You can. And okay. I'd like to know what your commitment in this relationship is going to be. I'm taking you to be my property. That to use ever, as I will. That if ever there's some drama, I'll throw money at the problem. <laughs> That's oh, your way of solving problems. What yeah, happens? Yeah. Okay, what happens when you, when, when you get divorced? Do you, do, are you supposed to return the, the bride price? No, because I, I wouldn't have paid, bro. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I paid. Let me tell you what, I, yes. what happens. Because my view of a woman yeah. is more esteemed than yours, yes. of course. Clearly. Uh, that this is a companion. Yes. This is a friend. Right. Uh, I didn't pay for her. Right. Uh, that was just building relationship right. and appreciation. Right. And this is what will happen. If mm -hmm. we have to divorce, mm -hmm. uh, then culture yes. as well had yes. a way out. Yes. Uh, go and give one goat, not mm. even the hundred you paid, because yes. you are not buying right. the woman. Right. Uh, give one goat just to say this has happened, for the right. sake of the law. Yeah. Uh, and then go for another one. Uh, and what you're saying is this has been terminated, the relationship. It's not about paying back. Right. You didn't buy her. Right. It's about just showing uh, something hasn't worked. I'd like to be free to get another woman. Uh, so in that case, it's not really paying back. Mm. And if you begin to demand your money back, then again, you're sitting in Kwachi's position. I bought a woman, I want my money back, just like I buy a car or not. Property. Simply, my point is, in this modern society, and even if you want to put it in that culturally, you know, because you guys say way back then, way back then, in this modern society where that family unit, those so-called relationships we are trying to build, nine times out of 10, they do not exist. If I am forced to pay bride price, and most people go and pay bride price, and they leave there with a bitter pill in their mouth, okay? Then, nine times out of 10, like those gentlemen said, and as I feel, that boss literally, I've paid. So if I've paid, so I own. Problem. Let me just right. challenge something So get you rid said. of it completely. Let me say something you, you said, challenge something you said. Uh, you said uh, that I am paying for this woman. You said in most of uh, the f modern families, you only are dealing with the woman. The families don't exist. Yes. I beg to differ. Those are not my relatives. Uh, even if this lady is an orphan, mm. there are still uncles and people mm. have helped her come to this stage. Mm. Even when you go to America mm. or wherever, Western mm. society, which mm. is more individual, mm. individualized, mm. you will still find this mm. person comes mm. out of a, a community of people yes. mm. and you're yes. dealing with the community, not mm. just her. Mm. Even though we are in Facebook and everything, you can't just deal with the person. You know, you know let me tell you something, uh, Pastor S. And Ian, hold on, hold on. If a European, okay, comes and marries one of our very own, all right, I guarantee you, 99,000%, that boy went to see no family and he paid no dowry, no bride price, hold nothing. It, hold it right there. Wait. We'll take a break. We'll take a break and we'll be coming back shortly. Just before the break, we saw the man's perspective on bride price. And now we welcome into the studio our female guest, Beverly Nungaro, who is an advocate of the High Court and also has been involved in gender issues, especially in men for the men. Men for the equality of men mm. and women. Men for the equality of men and women. Yes. Hmm. Before she explains what that is all about, let's see what the ladies have to say. In my opinion, not really, because uh, for me, dowry is a form of appreciation and uh, should not be seen as uh, like you're owning someone. For me, it's about uh, bringing the families together and uh, creating a relationship. Dowry is a way of appreciating the woman you're going to have as your wife and not as owning her as a property. In my point of view, dowry is a little diminishing to women. Because many of them are under the impression that I paid for you. That's what is happening. My point of view, it really shouldn't be paid anymore. It's a culture that maybe should have been dropped with time. You should just have lived it out. Because at the moment, you know, it really creates the wrong feel in a family. She makes a mistake, tells her I should take you back, I get back all that I paid. So it's not really something that I'm for. Well, some very strong views from the ladies as well. Indeed. Jump in. The question is not, is not whether the payment of dowry should be dropped, but whether it should be made mandatory, as it appears you know, to be. Uh, if I hear the sentiments of Ian and Pastor S, you seem to hold the notion that 
it should be mandatory. And to that extent, I find myself inclining to what uh, Kwach is saying. Mm. If we look at what the law says. I think you've got to speak <laughs> so that Pastor S understands what you're saying. He, yep. he, he knows, to, uh, the, to, to he knows down. the constitution. Hey. Oh, come on. Uh, He's it down. a lawyer. He knows it. So I'll just say it uh, for us, you know, to be at the same page. It's very clear that our parties to a, mar uh, to a marriage are the same at the start of the marriage, during marriage, and at the dissolution. And the beauty about the constitution also, it appreciates uh, that uh, we are in a society, so it also has the aspect of culture. Within the same constitution also, it appreciates the aspect of religion. So when you look at the Muslim aspect, how they treat the payment of dowry, the dowry is given to the woman so that at the end of marriage, you know, when the, ma the woman has been given talak, she has something to take care of the child. But if you look at uh, most of the marriages which are done by, you know, Christians, uh, there's a cocktail of do I say confusion in the sense that you find uh, they want to go pay dowry and after that they still feel they're not married enough. Pastor S will still tell them don't live together so that you join them, you solemnize you know, their marriage. And yet uh, legally that payment of uh, dowry if it's done by a man that is marriage in itself, it's recognized. And so it's like people are marrying, you know, twice. You pay dowry, it's recognized in the eyes of the law. The man still has to be, you know, stressed to meet the cost of, you know, wedding, which is still, you know, uh, if you ask me, uh, it doesn't, you know, add so much, you know, value, so to speak. And on the other hand, uh, if a man choose, and a woman, they choose to go to the edges, also that is recognized in the eyes of the law. So the question is, should we uh, compel men to pay dowry. And I've had interesting, you know, um, conversation from men. I said they worked for men for the equality of men and women. Uh, most men, you know, referring to what the lady said, uh, they feel that because they paid, you know, dowry, the woman is their property. What Kwach is saying. Secondly, and siding with him. secondly, to some extent, to some extent. Uh, then um, secondly, the aspect is if you're saying that uh, you're bringing families together, uh, how come when marriage does not work, these so-called elders are never there to arbitrate. They are never there to determine the issues of maintenance of the children, especially if it's uh, girl children, you know. They'll just receive the money, then they'll disappear. So you find most of the time, even though dowry has always been paid, they've gone to Pastor S, he's conducted the wedding, they'll still come, you know, to us, you know, as lawyers to, you know, uh, represent them in court. And you find the elders are not there to assist in any way. So I'm you saying, see, let's look at it on a case-to-case -case basis. So I said with Kwach to some extent, Ian, Ian, you're and you're I also said with you to some you're extent. The lady. <laughs> but I think she has raised um, <laughs> oh, very yes, many issues. Has. And that's why we wanted to. But Bev, yes. uh, firstly, let me clarify. Mm -hmm. Ian and I were not saying it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. We were saying it's understanding but of communities. But you said you demand it. You, you said you'll require not for it to be no. paid. It's the understanding of communities. Mm -hmm. If a community says, in our culture, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. That's what you I meant. Mm -hmm. Then you do it because you want to build relationships. So mm -hmm. that's clarified. Most men in the, in the course of you know, my work, they detest it because you find he's a young man who's finished you know, school, uh, he's stomaching, and uh, we're talking about, you know, uh, social relations and uh, not many people come from affluent you know families so you find this a uh, man will have to ask for money from his friends you know and even i've had a case of giving up i mean money to some guy to go pay you know dowry so my question is if it's appreciation how come you don't accept this person the way they are why does it have to have a material base we uh, agree no requirement but it's a cultural if you dance uh, to a certain tune in that culture then uh, uh, go on if you like that woman, then like her people and the cultures there. And, and pay if you need to pay, if, if that is the case, because you're building relationship. Let me say two things before Kwach. I can see he's all happy. Uh, this is my argument, Bev, that if you begin to use dowry as an excuse of treating your woman as your property, something is wrong. Absolutely. It's not about the dowry. It's about something noble that you're misusing. Uh, for your own agenda, for but your own But the question problems. is this, Pastor S. How so it's can? not everyone who does it. Let, let me just mm -hmm. finish this too. It's not everyone who does it. Mm -hmm. It's a few people who do it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we agree with you, with Ian here, that it's been commercialized. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking of uh, two out of ten cases where people demand so much money and people cannot pay. Now, you're talking about marriage and saying if I pay dowry, then I don't have money for the wedding. Mm -hmm. 
and you're saying this is very expensive. I don't think the dowry, the dowry is a separate thing from the wedding. If you want this lavish kind of wedding, then the two of you actually uh, uh, pay for it. If you're yeah. saying that you're building relationship, why mm. can't we look at it? It's a way of families coming together. Mm. If you're appreciating the family of this uh, lady, why can't we also appreciate the family of the man? And most of the excuse that is normally given, we've educated her and so forth. But you, the woman is not marrying an illiterate man in a scena good scenario. The man is educated, maybe up to doctorate, you know, level. And also what I find interesting is how uh, we use uh, cultures and excuse, and at the same time, uh, you want to say you're a Christian, you know. So a cocktail of bit of confusion in the sense you're saying uh, that this woman is leaving her family joining the man. But also if you look at it biblically, what does the Bible say? A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. So it's like we are reversing, you know, things and that we are was having actually, confusion. I, I hear you. Before <laughs> no, Quach comes know, in. I, 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 okay, you know, because I really, you're, you're, being spoken you're, you're flowing. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to say to you, Quach, and I've said it to you, at Bev, as well. If it's used as a nest case, the problem is not the practice. It's a man or the parents or the elders or abusing it or exploiting it for their own ends. You can't condemn a practice just because it's been misused. You don't stop driving on the roads because they're accidents. Yeah, true. Uh, you, you look at what was the beauty of this, the car and the road, and how do we take that and still apply it in our modern society? I am not happy with the way we are individuals. Even in the modern society, is not working in the West. Uh, the rate of divorce is much higher than what we have here. And I think one of the beauty uh, in our culture is that community thing. Let's build community, let's build relationship, let's not go to the excesses, but let's see what is good and let's use it. I think when you're talking about that culture also uh, of payment, you know, of dowry, it mm. also had its downside and certain expectation. Mm. Um, one is that uh, the woman would be able to, you know, bear children, you know, she's not lazy. If you look at the most customary, you know, laws, and there was a provision for it to be paid back. Mm -hmm. And it's to that extent you find it's not, you know, dignifying to the woman. And you'll concur with me, if a dowry has not been paid, it goes to the point if a woman has died, you know, there'll be fights, you know, she should not be buried where, Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. why? It's so indignifying. Then in the process, uh, we, we don't discuss about, you know, the children. So my point is, even as you're uh, phrasing the, you know, payment of dowry thing, can we evolve it to be something better? And if we say it's dowry, how, how, may, how come uh, in the present case we'll not see uh, Pastor S, I don't know whether you, you did it or, or, or Ian, um, you know, you took the cows literally, symbolically. You find we are talking about counting money, especially the aspect of people, you know, counting notes, putting in envelopes. It's so you know, you indignifying. That commercialization we have condemned. I paid for it, it, so I am going to do what I want with this woman. If that's a mentality, oh. that's wrong. We're running out of time, Pastor S. I would say that uh, if a culture uh, agrees that we should pay dowry, let's do it respectfully. Let's look at what is positive in it. Let's build relationship. Let's show appreciation. When we don't need to pay that dowry, Let's still be sensible enough as men. Let's be man enough to realize whether you pay dowry or not, your woman is not property. Treat her in a respectable manner. Bev? Um, my point is let's look at it on a case-to-case -case, uh, basis. The Muslims, uh, their way of doing it is one of the best, if you are to ask me. At the end of the day, a respect for women should not be pay based on whether dowry has been paid uh, or not. And at the same time, when uh, relatives are placing a demand you know, on men, uh, they should look at it, how will it affect the, his relationship with his wife? And if it's building relationships, uh, let's also appreciate you know, the parents you know, of the man. They've taken time to raise him up. You know? So uh, that would be my parting shot. Okay. If they put a financial value to it, there is a cost. There is money involved. You have bought something, it is property. Well, you've heard all the views. Should bride price be completely taken away? The decision is yours. This has been Mentality, and from all of us, good night.